the constructor that we just wrote did not actually randomize rank and suit. We're going to do that right now. So I don't always want rank and suit to always be one. That's not very exciting. So I need the random object. Where should I put that? Here's one option and we'll, we'll make this better. Random rand equals new random. So that should be very familiar right there. Of course, NetBeans doesn't know what random is automatically. So you need to import the random object and then rank equals rand dot. And we want to use we want to use next int with a bound on it. And the bound is one more than the maximum you're going to get. Okay. So what number should we put in here? Well, this is the rank that we're looking at here. And what's the biggest rank should be is, let's see, maybe a 14. We'll try 14 right there. Let's not worry about suits for now. We're just going to randomize the rank. All right, here we go. Remember, we didn't randomize the suit, so they're all going to be diamonds. That's what the second letter, the D, means. All right, so we made a nine of diamonds, a two, a two, a queen, seven, king. So it looks okay. It's randomizing. I'm going to run it a couple more times. Nine, five. That's a lot of fives. All right. Oh, there we go. We got some errors. Excellent. Uh, you can make 10 random cards and, and not always see the error show up. That's why I ran this several times. All right. So what is this error that's happening? So this error that you see here is because ranks is allowed to be zero the way we wrote the method. When we do next int, next int gives you an integer between zero and one less than 14. So it'd be between zero and 13. That's almost good, except you don't want to have rank equal to zero. So how can we fix that? Next int always goes zero to 14. So one way to fix it is do one plus. So rank, uh, the random next int can be zero, but because I add one to it, the lowest this can overall be is one. Run it. There we go. I did get an ace right there, so which is a rank one. Let's run it a few more times, make sure it's okay. King, got a king. I wanna make sure that it's not too big. I don't want it to go past king. I need to run it a few more times before I'm satisfied. It's not going to go past king. Oh, perfect. That's what I was looking for. All right, so what happened here? Index 14 is out of bounds. So because I added one to it, it's trying to get to index 14. So remember, this can give us up to a 13, but we add one more, and that's a 14. So we need to compensate for the one we added. And we'll go to 13 right there. Okay, I'm not going to show you how to randomize suit, but it's pretty similar to what we did here. So these are just all, all going to be diamonds, and that's okay. You can leave rand right here, but that means that every time you build a card, there's a new random object that gets created. It does get discarded as soon as we hit here. Uh, so it'll be created in the constructor and then it disappears at the end of the constructor because that's you created it here and then it disappears because you hit the end of the block of code where it was created. What I'm going to do is move it up. I'm going to move it up above rank and suit. So this will work just fine. Should work just fine. Yep, we got random values here, got some kings, a 10, 9, 3, etc. This would be okay, but that means that every card you make gets its own rand object. If I make it static, what that means is all the cards share one 
random object and I don't need to make, if I make 10 cards, I'm not making 10 random objects. So we'll leave this as static. And that should, well, once, once you randomize suit, that should take care of making random cards. And yes, this is just two lines long when you're done. It doesn't need to be any more than two lines. We're gonna look at the other constructors next.